Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a ballerina, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large ballerina, the size is 14cm by 24cm or 5.5 inches by 9.5 inches. This medium ballerina crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 9cm by 15cm or 3.5 inches by 6 inches. The small ballerina crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 7.5cm by 11.5cm or 3 inches by 4.5 inches. You can use many different colour combinations as I have here and also put the legs in different positions. Now I'll be crocheting mine with Katona cotton today so the size will be somewhere between the medium and the large one. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 105 bridal white 222 Tulip, 114 Shocking Pink, 162 Black Coffee and I'll be using a tiny little bit of 110 Black and 384 Powder Blue for the eyes but you could embroider on the eyes if you'd prefer. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends a 2.5mm crochet hook and sewing thread and a needle to, to stitch it together and also to embroider on the mouth and nose and a tiny dot on the eye. Now I'm starting on the head and I've got my 105, the bridal white and I work 8 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring through a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. We need a single crochet into the next stitch as well. And then we work one half double crochet in the following stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have two loops left then yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the following stitch And then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch will work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So we start with two single crochet into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 11 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 1 half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our half double crochet in the first work one single crochet into each stitch till we have one left. and work one half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 11 stitches. Now we're going to start decreasing for the top of the head. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on our hook then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left.
and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches then one single crochet into each stitch till you have two left. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we're going to work a neatening row. We start with one chain and we're going to work a single crochet into each stitch until we get to the middle stitch of the bottom there. We're going to work a little chin in there. So just a single crochet into each stitch. Just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge and work a single crochet. Now I'm crocheting over the top of the, the tail, I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it. Now I'm to the middle stitch, I work three half double crochet into the next stitch.
and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. When we get back to the beginning of the row, we work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and fasten off. And that's the head done. I'm starting on the left side of the hair now. I've got my 162 the black coffee and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with this yarn at the end through the circle and there's my magic loop. Then I work two chain and I work one half double crochet in the circle and I pull the circle tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn my work and I work two single crochet in that stitch. For row 3, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a single crochet in the first stitch and a half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 4, I start with 1 chain and turn my work and I work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 5, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6, I start with 2 chain and turn. I work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch and then I work one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 7, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. one half double crochet in the next stitch 
and one double crochet in the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Now we're going to start on a neatening row but we're going to turn our work first and work across the top of our work. We work one slip stitch into each stitch across the top and down to this point where we started. So a slip stitch into each stitch till, till we get to the point. A slip stitch into the point. It's a bit hard, I pulled it quite tight. Now we're going to work this bit of hair coming down the end. So we work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. Now we're going to work either a join slip stitch or a join single crochet over the next two. So you put your hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. You've got three loops on the hook. Now for a joined slip stitch you take your hook through all the loops. But if you can't manage that put the yarn around the hook first and take it through all your loops. Then work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. Then work two single crochet into the next stitch. The joined and the two single crochet just makes the work bend in different ways and then work one slip stitch into each remaining stitch and into each stitch up the other side. And once we get back to the beginning of the row, we fasten off. And that's the left side of the hair done. I'll do the right side of the hair now. I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I work 7 chain.
For bow one, I miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. So miss one and work a slip stitch into each of the next two chain. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Then we work six chain. For row two, we miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And then work one single crochet into each remaining chain. Now we're going to work along the top of rows one and two. We start with one chain and we work one single crochet into each of the top of each of row one and two. So just in there for our first stitch and then in top of this other section there. So we've got two single crochet in that top of that row. For row four we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row nine, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches, one half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the five stitches. For 
for row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Now for the neatening row we don't turn and we work one slip stitch in each stitch down to the top of these two strands of hair. So one slip stitch into each stitch. Now we're going to pass the yarn in behind the piece so I work one chain and pull my loop out and put my hook through the stitch at the other side of the strand of hair and put the loop through. Then I put the yarn around my hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the loop from the other side and through this side. Then I work 10 chain, that's for the strand of hair going down that side, so 10 chain. I miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And then I work two single crochet into the next stitch. That just makes the hair bend in the opposite direction to the strand on the other side. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. and a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches. If you can't manage a joined slip stitch, work a joined single crochet. So put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and take your last loop through the next two loops. And then work one slip stitch into each of the remaining chain and a slip stitch into each stitch up to the beginning of the row, so this corner here. And we fasten off. And that's that side part done. We'll start on the ponytail now, this section here. So I've still got my 162, the black coffee, and I make a magic loop. For row 1 I work 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet in my circle 
and then I pull the circle tight. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the stitch. So one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row three, we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in the last stitch. For row five, we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch and two half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches for row 14 
we start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch For bow 15 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches one half double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the last two stitches a double crochet is a treble using UK terms For row 16 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 3 stitches, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches, and one half double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And for row 19 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. So we put a hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, a hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and our hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Now that's the ponytail done except for a neatening row. We're not going to turn. We work one chain and we work one slip stitch into each stitch around. So a slip stitch in each stitch. So I'll work this neatening row and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row I fasten off. And that's the ponytail done. Now there's a little side bit of hair in here. You could leave it off if you'd prefer. So I've got my 162, the black coffee again, and I make a magic loop. And then work three chain. I work one double crochet in the circle, which is a treble using UK terms. and I pull the circle tight. For row 2 I work one chain and turn and work 
to single crochet into my stitch. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 I start with 2 chain and turn my work. I work one half double crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row 5 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 7 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. Now that's the side hair done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row we turn our work first and we work one slip stitch into each stitch around. Now I'll continue working around that one and I'll be back with the colours for the eye, the black and the blue. Now for the middle part of the eye I've got my 110 the black and I make a magic loop. I work one chain and work three single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the inner part of the eye done. I'll make another one. I make a magic loop and work one chain and then three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now for around the eye you could use a finer yarn if you'd prefer but I've got the same thickness yarn and you can join in any stitch just in the outside loop and work one slip stitch in each stitch around So I'm just working into the outside loop.
and then I work a slip stitch underneath that first one and fasten off. And that's round the first eye. I'll do the second one. So I just join in the outside loop of any stitch and work slip stitches around the piece just into the outside loop. Then I work a slip stitch underneath the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the second die done. Now I've got my 114, the shocking pink, and I'm starting on the bow now. So I make a magic loop. and work four chain. I work three treble in my circle. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the circle and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take your hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops and then yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Now we need two more treble into the circle. And then work four chain. and slip stitch into the circle. And then work four more chain. We're starting the other side of the bow now. And work three treble into our circle. Then work four chain and slip stitch into the circle and pull the circle tight. Now we're going to work eight chain. The eight chain is to wrap around our bow like that and we fasten off. When we weave in the ends, I'll weave in the one from the start of the circle but I won't weave in this other one. I'll use it to stitch this down when I'm putting the bow together. Now we're going to start on the dress now. Um, for these two I use the same colour for the whole of the dress except for the sash. But for the one I'm doing today and this one I'm going to use a dark colour and a lighter colour. So 
I'm going to start on the bodice here. I've got my 114 the shocking pink and I start with 6 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have 5 stitches. For row 2, we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 5 stitches. For row 3, we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches and a joined single crochet over the next 2 stitches. We miss the last stitch and that's the bodice done except for a neatening row. We work the straps on our neatening row. We're not going to turn our work. Now for the neatening row we start with 5 chain. That's for that strap there. Now we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. and then work a slip stitch in the side of the last row there and then slip stitch into the last stitch of the top. Now we're going to work three chain. That's for the little strap that goes behind the back. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain and then one slip stitch into each stitch down the side. And then you could either work a slip stitch or a single crochet along the top. I'm going to work a single crochet just to make it easier to join the bottom of the skirt. So we've got five stitches along the bottom, so one slip stitch or one single crochet into each of those five stitches. And then work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the first stitch on the top.
Now I'm at the top, we work five chain for that other strap. We miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. One single crochet into the next chain and a half double crochet into the following chain and then work one slip stitch into each stitch along the top to the next strap. And fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends to make it easier for you to see while we're doing the skirt part. And I'll be back with my 222, the tulip, and we'll work the skirt. Now for the skirt, I've got my 222, the tulip, and I join it to the first of the five stitches along the bottom. And work three chain. Then I work two double crochet, a double crochet is a treble, I work two double crochet into each of the five stitches, that's including where I've joined with my three chain. So I'll have ten stitches. Now that's the first row done. For row two, we start with three chain and turn, and we work two double crochet into each of the first two stitches. and then work one double crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and then work two double crochet into each of the last two stitches. Now we're going to work two more rows the same as row two. So we start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then one double crochet into each stitch until we have two stitches left.
and work two double crochet into each of the last two stitches. And the next rows work the same. We start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into each of the first two stitches. And then work one double crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and work two double crochet into each of the last two stitches. And now we're going to put a little frill along the bottom. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the first stitch, then work two chain and work a single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat that across two chain and work a single crochet in the next stitch. All the way across two chain and a single crochet in the next stitch. Now that's the dress done. If I wasn't going to use the top skirt I would neaten up this side and then join and neaten down the other side but 
For this one I'm going to work a top skirt so I fasten off and that's the dress done. I'll be back with my shocking pink and I'll work this skirt top. Now for the skirt top I've got my 114 the shocking pink and I start with 21 chain. Now we'll start on the first section. I miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the following four chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So miss three and work one double crochet into each of the next four chain. Then work one half double crochet into each of the following four chain. And then one single crochet into each of the next four chain. and then slip stitch into the next chain. Now that's our first section done. Now we work 15 chain for our next section. We miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four chain. one half double crochet into each of the following four chain and one single crochet into each of the last four chain and then slip stitch into the next of our original chain and work 15 chain for our next section. We miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four chain.
one half double crochet into each of the following four chain and a single crochet into each of the last four chain. and slip stitch into the next chain of the original chain and work 15 chain for the fourth section. We miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the following four chain one half double crochet into each of the next four chain and a single crochet into each of the last four chain and slip stitch in the next of the original chain and work 15 chain We miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four chain. one half double crochet into each of the following four chain and one slip um sorry one single crochet into each of the last four chain slip stitch into the next of the original chain. We should have one left after this slip stitch. And we work 15 chain for our last section. We miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four chain.
one half double crochet into each of the following four chain and one single crochet into each of the last four chain. And then slip stitch into our last of the original chain and fasten off. And that's the skirt top done. Now for this sash, the belt part, I've got my 222, two, two, the tulip, and I work 12 chain just so I can wrap it around the back a bit. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and fasten off. And that's the sash. Now for the body I've got my 105 the bridal white and I work three chain For row one I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have two stitches. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. And row threes work the same. One chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And row four, one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into each stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. And for row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch.
and we fasten off. And that's the body done. Now for this right arm, I join at the top of the fifth row, so it's just where it starts bending out. So just in here, and I work 13 chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then I work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. So I put my hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop and hook into the following stitch and bring through a loop then yarn around the hook and take my hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then one double crochet into each of the following three stitches. That's a treble using UK terms. And then we work one treble into each remaining chain. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning of the stitch. Then we slip stitch in the side of the body, just where it meets, and fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends before I start on the other arm and the neatening row just so they won't get in the way. Now for the left arm we join just slightly up from the bottom of the other arm. So about here. and work 15 chain. We miss two chain and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then we work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A join double crochet over the next two stitches. For a join double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch, 
and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops left, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. Then work one double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to work a joined treble over the following two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We've got two loops left, then put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We've got three loops left on our hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with our yarn through the remaining loops. Then we work one treble in the last stitch. Then we slip stitch into the side of the body, just up near the neck. Now we're going to work a neatening row. We're not going to turn. We're going to work one slip stitch up the neck. Now we could work a slip stitch along the top if you'd prefer but I'm going to just work another row of single crochet just to give it a bit more to join on to the head. So a single crochet in those two stitches along the top. Then I work one slip stitch in each stitch down the side and along the top of the arm to the end of the arm. So a slip stitch in each stitch. I'm working quite loosely along the curves so it keeps its shape. I slip stitch into the end and then I work three chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. and slip stitch into the next stitch and work two chain. I work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then I'm going to work a slip stitch in each stitch down the bottom of the arm And I'll work a slip stitch into each stitch along to the end of the other hand.
I'm at the end of the other hand, I work three chain, I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And then slip stitch into the next stitch and work two chain. I work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then work one slip stitch in each stitch to the beginning of the row. and fasten off. And that's the body done. Now the legs will work the same. I've got my 105 the bridle white and I start with 15 chain I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, one half double crochet in the next stitch, one slip stitch in the next stitch, one single crochet in the following stitch, one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then one double crochet into each remaining chain. That's a treble using UK terms. and we fasten off. And that's the first leg done. The second leg has worked the same. We start with 15 chain We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, one half double crochet in the following stitch. A slip stitch in the next stitch, one single crochet in the following stitch, 
one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and one double crochet into each remaining chain. and fasten off. And that's the legs done. Now for this front ballet slipper, we start with six chain. I've got my one one for the shocking pink. So six chain We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet in the next stitch and then work two chain. Slip stitch in the same stitch as the half double crochet Then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two double crochet in the last stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. So two double crochet in the last stitch. And then I'm going to work 12 chain to wrap around the leg as the straps. So 12 ch chain, you'll need about that much. And fasten off. When I weave in the ends, I leave the one at the top of the chain and I use that to fasten it to the back of the leg. So that's the front ballet slipper. For this back ballet slipper, we start with seven chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet in the next chain, and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. and then work about 13 chain to wrap it around the leg. And fasten off. Now I won't weave in the end from the top of the chain either. Now that's all my pieces worked. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all the pieces. I've got the side hair piece, 
the ponytail, the two eyes, the body, the dress, the skirt front, the two slippers, the legs, the two hair sides, the bow and the sash. The first things I'll do is attach the left hair side to the head. It goes about half on the head and half off and down around the side like that. I'll also attach the ballet slippers to the legs. They go down around like that. The end of the slipper goes just over the top of the end of the foot and then wrap the chain around and fasten it at the back and the other one goes on the same. Like that. I'll embroider two white dots, one on each eye, the centre of each eye, and I'll attach the dress skirt to the dress. I stitch down the side. These end bits go slightly lower than the dress. I'll stitch that down the side and then up the other side along the top and then down this other side and back up and then I'll place the other ones evenly along the dress and then stitch them down. So I'll do that and I'll be back. The next things I'll do is attach the sash to the dress just at the waist there and I attach it at the back. I'll attach the right side of the hair to the head. The middle part goes up against the left side and then it goes down around the face like that. I'll pass the chain around the bow and I'll fasten it at the back and I'll attach the legs together at the top. This one is the front leg, the one with the bigger heel. The next things I'll do is attach the eyes to the head, just in about there, and I'll embroider on eyelashes where I can fit them between the eye and the hair. And I'll attach the dress to the body Just in like that, the small strap goes behind the arm and the other two go up each side of the neck. The next things I'll do is embroider the mouth and nose on the face. I'll have a close up on the website as to how I did the mouth and nose and I'll also attach the bow on the outside it goes up further than this inside part. Next I attach the ponytail in behind the bow like that and going down behind these two strands of hair and I stitch the strands of hair to the ponytail and then I attach the side piece of hair in underneath the ponytail, just in there. The last things I do is attach the head to the neck there, just in there, and the legs in behind the dress. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished ballerina. And there's the finished ballerina. The finished size is 11 and a half centimetres by 19 centimetres or four and a half inches by seven and a half inches. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. 
I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.